everybody, this is Ben with Amera Equipment. Want to bring you guys another video today and show you this 2022 Cormidi C85 concrete buggy. This is a new uh, concrete buggy for us uh, here with our rental fleet. And uh, we're giving this Cormidi brand a try. This is the C85 model. Um, and we're gonna give you guys a walk around today of the, of the unit, maybe operate it a little bit at the end here. Uh, and just give you an up close and personal uh, look at the unit. Um, so please stick around and we'll get going here. All right guys, we're just gonna do a quick walk around here, show you what the unit looks, looks like, and then we'll go in a little bit closer. Again, this is the, this is the 2022 uh, model year, Cormidi, I believe that's how they say it, C85. Um, this is an Italian, tracked concrete buggy made in Italy so get a little up close and personal here it does have some weights here on the front that they've added um, I have noticed that this unit is a little uh, rear end heavy when you're when you're operating it but that's good if it's full of concrete so but that is uh, the front here this has only been rented out once we just got it um, so it's pretty clean for, uh, compared to most of your concrete buggies there. Um, look at the side undercarriage here. It does have some rings you can uh, hook to if you need to. Rocking rollers, as you can see, they, the rollers on the bottom can go up and down, um, so they do rock. Um, everything else is pretty, pretty typical there. Um, Go up the side here the Cormidi brand it seems like they have some weird options looks like some sort of audio uh, hookup there and I think this is just some options you can add uh, to the unit you got your throttle up here on the side go around to the back you have a foot plate that can be lifted up and you can tuck it out of the way if you want to and uh, we'll go to the control station here and then I'll show you where the engines at and the engine compartment Get your little horn button here this is where your key ignition hides which i do like that with your um your hour meter there so they do hide that with the horn um so it doesn't get splattered with concrete and then you have your choke here that's connected to the engine um go up here to the control station this is your parking brake which you actually uh you pull it's got a little lever here you pull out and push down to release that your throttles right there again and then easy controls bring this back a little bit farther here you can actually keep one hand on the um, metal here while you're and hold on while you're actually operating the controls with one hand if you do want to use the dump at the same time but this is your dump control up and down and then your tracks so pretty simple controls this is a non-rotating unit a non-swivel unit so um, there's only two controls there and then on the side here we'll go back to the engine here in just a second you do have a uh, they have a locking gas cap and they have to use a key with which we're gonna get rid of that and then uh, gas gauge on the side here it's a pretty easy to read and then your muffler comes out they got access to your oil filter and everything right there on the side under carriage uh, on the sides about the same <clears throat> So go around here to the back side here. We're gonna open this up. You push here, lift up, and then just pull out. Okay, so that's what it looks like after it gets pulled out. So nice access to your battery, your uh, operator's manual. You got fuses back here on the back side here that are in case so they don't get dirty. They hide their uh, machine information, which is nice your battery disconnect right there your your, your uh, air filter and your fuel uh, filters right there so everything all your main stuff that you can access beside your oil filters all right here battery is super easy to take in and out um, and they don't restrict your the area that you can put the battery in so if you did have to change it a little bit you could um, access to your drive controls right there really easy to access so if you have any issues with um, you know your drives right there you're you're good to go this has a the Kohler CH440 um, engine on it which is a pretty standard engine easy to get and then like I said on your throat on your choke which is right here it connects to um, 
choke down there so you can save access to it up here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up here, lock it, and then I'm gonna actually start this up so you guys can take a look at it um, in operation. Like I said, it is a little rear end heavy. So when I'm operating it, you can see it kind of, if you're going real fast, it'll tend to uh, lean back a little bit, but that is good. Um, because you're gonna have a, it'll carry a lot of weight up in the front um, This is it'll hold about 1,400 pounds. It carries about four cubic yards struck and about half a yard heaped So a good amount there. I do like how This part right here on the back side is at an angle to kind of kill help keep splatter away from all your controls and stuff here um, I'm gonna raise this up real quick before we do the operation uh, just so you can see what it looks like underneath. I gotta turn the throttle up. So the bucket's up. This is just your panel right here, which I do like how they cover it with a flat panel to help, you know, with the splatter and stuff. It all stays right there on a flat part so you can easily clean it off and everything. And then you can you can remove it if you need to access anything like your cylinder or any tank, your hydraulic tank, things like that underneath that, that compartment. So um, yeah, really clean. Um, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and operate this unit here and show you just what how it goes back and forth um, and how quick it is and um, yeah, it should be good to go. guys that is the 2022 Cormedi C85 tracked concrete buggy if you guys have any questions about it feel free to ask I'd be more than happy to answer your questions please subscribe to my channel and until next time guys thanks for watching